I said. Um, I know maybe it's like, why? Why are you going to go to the doctor just to cough medicine? Since he's taking medication, I need to go to the doctor and consult with my doctor, with his doctor, to see if he can take what medicine he can take because I don't want to mix medicines. Mostly I was going also because I was going to confront the doctor that told me that it was nothing wrong with Junior, that it was all in my head. So that was kind of like why I really wanted to go also, not just to get the medicine for Junior. Um, so that day that I went, I didn't get to see that doctor. I got a girl doctor. So once I talked to her, it was like a totally different experience from that doctor, that guy doctor, because this one was a girl doctor that I got to see. So I got to give her the, show her the medicine that he was taking. I talked to her and everything, and she was so nice. She told me what I needed to do um, to make sure that I got my appointment to go to the um, children's hospital to, for dinner to get tested, not to let it pass, you know, if I don't hear nothing from them, to like email them, call them, push them to give me my appointment for my son, not to let just forget about it, you know what I mean? So she was really nice, just a totally different thing. So ended up working out. So now instead of seeing him, I'm gonna be seeing her now because I honestly don't wanna have nothing to do with that guy doctor. So anyways, so they took everything down. They wrote everything down for me. So they have all that information in their files now for Junior. Um, I was able to talk to them and um, they told me that to start giving Junior the uh, one tablespoon a day now, um, starting today, Wednesday and wait two weeks giving him the medicine and see if anything's changed if it makes him stop doing the seizures or anything like that and if it doesn't to go back with my neural we're going to change it because honestly i don't see it working and everybody tells me that i'm just paranoid that i need to calm down you know what i mean but it's just hard to see him have these episodes and i feel like they're happening more now than before and it frustrates me because i can't do anything about it i have to snap him out of it and that's what the nurse told me that if he gets one I need to snap him out of it because it will lead a little trail so every time he gets an episode it'll be longer and longer and longer and it's hard to just snap him out of it all the time he just randomly does it um, we notice that he does it when the lights are off and we're watching TV so now we have to watch the TV with the lights on but he still does it it hasn't changed anything I felt kind of disappointed because I was thinking, okay, with the medication, it would help. But if it's not helping, what am I supposed to do? I honestly don't know what to do because I noticed that he zones out a lot and that he rubs his eyes. So, I feel like, please let this work. Like, now that he's going to be taking the one teaspoon for it to work. Um... Also, I want to thank you guys all for your comments. A lot of people might think that I'm ignorant or something. But to be honest with you, I've always thought that when somebody has something, like comes with a sickness or anything like that, like they're born with it. Um, not like a sickness, but like if they born with, they're, I thought people were born with seizures. That's what I thought. I thought it was hereti um, that you get it from like your parents or something like that. Um, like any... Thing, you would be born with it I didn't think that you would actually like just one day come out and have it so yeah that's weird I don't know but after reading all you guys's comments it was hard for me to like reply to everybody because I got a really big amount of comments but I cried when I read so many comments you guys you guys have no idea how hard it was for me to read this and see that a lot of you guys had gone through the same thing that I'm going through it gave me hope that he is going to get better. Hopefully, after we get all these tests done, he's going to be okay. I'm just waiting to get those um, tests taken care of so we can know what's going on. Um, a lot of comments scared me. Just to let you guys know that a lot of comments scared me too. But a lot of the comments were like, my, my baby had it. He grew out of it or she grew out of it. Um, they're okay now. They're off their medication. Now they're doing better. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case with Junior because honestly it would break my heart to know that he won't be able to drive because if he gets one of those episodes he can have an accident or he won't have a normal life. I want him to have a normal life. I think he deserves to have a normal life. I don't think it would be fair, you know, for him to go through this and I'm, you know, there won't be anything that I could do about it because, you know. 
he's going through what he's going through. It's just hard, you guys. I mean, a lot of people don't understand, won't understand us. For us that are going through it or went through it, they won't understand until something like this happens to them. Um, I'm not. I'm hoping nothing like this happens to any of you guys. I don't even wish my enemies this for their child to go through something like this. I would much rather be the one that going through these things than him. Um, it's just, it's just horrible, you guys. I don't know. You know, I pray so much and I ask God, you know, help me get through this, help my son. Honestly, on Friday when I went to the doctor, I was feeling so frustrated. I felt paranoid. I guess I'm just too paranoid. I'm just scared all the time. I just don't know what else to do, what to think, what I can do to make things better. Um, I asked the nurse if she thinks that he, he goes, not goes, but he gets pain when he goes through those little episodes and she says that she doesn't think that he does you know so I'm hoping that if the medicine doesn't work in two weeks after we're giving it to him for like the whole full teaspoon um, that I can go back and change it and get something else that will work for him because it's not working right now it's not doing anything I just think that the episodes are happening a lot more now than before like I can't even have him laying down in bed with me because he moves so much so I have to like snap him out of it a lot. So it's it's frustrating not to be able to control it, you know. And I just still don't understand how this happens. I would think that when people get seizures, it just happens once and then that's it. But his is like, I he'll be doing it and then I'll snap him out of it. And he'll be okay for like two minutes and then he'll do it again. And then I have to snap him out of it again. So it's not like he does it once. He does it like four or five times in like 15 minutes maybe you can say. He'll do it. And so I have to be snapping him out of it. It's hard. It's really, really hard to see him go through those things. And then he rubs his eyes all the time. So I don't know what he, if he feels that they're coming or, or, or what. I wish that he could tell me, but he can't. So... I think that's practically all I wanted to tell you guys the update I don't know if you if if you guys went through this please let me know how long did it work how how long did it take for the medicine to actually work to like actually be in there because the nurse told me that it's been five days in those five days he should have already been I should have been seeing a difference already and I haven't seen a difference to be honest with you I feel like he's more hyper he's more like active he's more like antsy like he needs to be hitting my daughters well his sisters and he needs to be crying all the time he wants it his way all the time i don't know if it's just a phase that he's going through but honestly i'm just like oh my god take it one day at a time take it one day at a time it'll be okay <sighs> i'm just hoping this 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 it's over it's over so I want to thank you guys again for watching. I will be trying to keep you guys updated um, once I get my appointment to go um, to the Children's Hospital for dinner to get those tests done. I will let you guys all know how it all goes. But I want to do these little update videos to let you guys know how we're doing, how he's doing. Um, every Wednesday I will be trying to upload a new video for you guys to let you guys know everything that's going on. So you guys... Can be updated as I am going every day getting updated myself because honestly this is something new something that I never thought this could happen to me I never knew something like this could happen to me to be honest with you guys but we have to live we have to live with what we get and pray and you know hope for the best and I'm just hoping that I can help my baby not to have this anymore and do something that we can help to control what he's going through so yeah i want to thank you guys again for watching i will see you guys in my next video i know maybe this video was all over the place but it's hard for me to talk about it because i don't want to cry on camera i don't want to get so emotional but it it's hard it's really hard you guys so yeah i want to thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in my next update video and i'll be trying to do it every wednesday for you guys so 
yeah.